African proverb states that those who know the truth must teach our ancestors demands this of us. The real matrix is not science fiction. The real matrix is the false illusory worldview that's been grafted upon us from birth through the white society's monopoly over information that they've imposed upon us. Thus causes our collective minds to perceive a false version of reality that we then function based upon. It's what's known as the illusionary truth effect the illusionary truth effect is when people are made to believe that false information is true by repeated exposure to the false information. And they then begin functioning based upon those false information rather than the true reality. I never said that what I teach would be easy for all to comprehend. I only said that it would be the black liberating truth. The truth that white oppressive forces don't want us to ever learn because it's the truth that sets our minds free from white mental slavery. In order to free our minds from the white mental slavery, we must learn the true hidden social sciences, nefarious social science tactics that the white oppressive forces secretly deploys against us to facilitate their long-term oppression of us. All societies function based upon the narratives that are fed into them. Because the white society controls all the narratives, they systematically feed false narratives into society that serve the system of white supremacy. The narratives fed into the white dominant society are distorted to falsely exalt whites and to falsely marginalize black people. It's a nefarious social science tactic that creates and sustains false assumptions within um, our minds and the society at large that aids in maintaining white social dominance over black people. Here's a simplified version of what I've just said. The white society's greatest power is that they create the narratives that the world believes and functions based upon. And embedded within those narratives are lies that are designed to make millions of people function in ways benefiting the system of white supremacy. The white society sits upon a throne of white exalting lies that empowers themselves. Case, point, and proof. The white society miseducates us to believe that the world's first scholars originated in ancient Greece. However, the Greeks openly admitted that their knowledge originated in Africa from African scholars. When Socrates wrote of his studies in the book Busiris, he said, I study philosophy and medicine in Africa. The white society also miseducates us to believe that the father of medicine was a Greek named Hippocrates. However, the true father of medicine was an African named Imhotep. Imhotep was practicing medicine and writing on the subject for more than 2,000 years before Hippocrates was even born. And although Egypt is located in Africa, and although carbon date testings have scientifically proven that the ancient kingdom was built by Africans thousands of years long before the arrival of the Greeks and Arabs during the seven centuries, the white society nonetheless miseducates us to believe that, that, the, uh, that Africa's ancient Egyptians were ridiculously Europeans. However, DNA analysis have scientifically proven that Africa's ancient Egyptians were in fact Africans. In December 2012, DNA tests were conducted on the mummies of Pharaoh Ramsey III, his son, and several other mummies um, by DNA Tribes, an American company which specializes in DNA testings. Their DNA testings proved that they belong to the human Y chromosome group of E1BLA. This is the Y chromosome of Sub-Saharan Africans. In 2013, another group of mummies were also tested by the same company from the Amana period of Egyptian pharaohs. The conclusion of those testings was that those mummies were consistent with present-day population of the African Great Lakes region and, um, and Southern Africa. Uh, these results were published in the DNA Tribe Digest on February 2013. The White Society also miseducates us to believe that Africans were illiterate and uncivilized before the Europeans invaded. However, the hidden reality is that the world's oldest university, manuscript, encyclopedia, human prosthetic, mathematical tools, medical journals, and oldest ancient man-made structures are all found in Africa. Africans are also the first people to build in stone and smelt metal. The world's largest wall is not the Great Wall of China. The, the largest wall ever built was the Great Wall of Benin in Nigeria. It's actually four times larger than the Great Wall of China. Furthermore, Long before the Europeans invaded Africa, it was Africans, when we call ourselves Moors, that civilized Europe. Uh, Africans introduced science, writing, math, philosophy, uh, and, and even hygiene standards, including the daily bath to Europeans. 
Queen Isabella of Spain bragged that she had only bathed twice in her whole life. Queen Elizabeth I claimed that she was the cleanest woman in all of Europe for reportedly um, bathing once a month. This non-bathing practice ended only after Africans introduced the daily bath to Europeans. These are absolute facts. The White Society also depicts themselves as being the highest evolved Homo sapiens, while depicting we Africans as being the lowest evolved Homo sapiens. They portray us as being closer to apes. However, the truth is the exact opposite from what they've manipulated so many people to believe. It's been scientifically proven that Africans are the true Homo sapiens. African chocolate colored melanated skin color, black woolly hair, has been scientifically proven as being the direct result of Homo sapien DNA. While Caucasian pink skin and long animalistic hair type has been scientifically proven as being a result of, D of Neanderthal DNA. The White Society also miseducates us to, us to believe that Thomas Edison is responsible for lighting up the world. The hidden reality is that after Edison patterned his light bulbs, no companies purchased nor mass produced it. This is because it was deemed not efficient enough. It lit very dimly and lasted only a few minutes. The inventor whose light bulb was purchased, mass produced, and spread throughout the entire world was invented by an African-American named Louis Latimer. He sold the patent to the U.S. Um, US Electric Company in 1881. He was also dispatched around the world to oversee his installation. Therefore, in reality, it was actually a black man that lit up the entire world. The white society systematically distorts many um, facts to falsely give themselves credit for most inventions made by black people. Uh, in doing so, they've created the perception that Caucasians are responsible for most inventions that have revolutionized the world. Moreover, that black people are the leeches of society that haven't invented much throughout history. Creating this perception greatly aids the white society in maintaining its social dominance over black people. However, the hidden reality is that in spite of cultural traumas wrought by the injustice of white racism and slavery, most inventions that revolutionized the world were in fact either invented by black people or were directly inspired by early inventions by black people. Without black people, uh, there would exist no internet, no cell phones, no emails, no GPS, no elevators, therefore no skyscrapers, no working light bulbs, no helicopters, no motors, no, no engines, no, um, no automobile, therefore, no traffic lights, no air conditioning, no central heating, no washing machine, no refrigerator, no refrigerated trucks, no 3D movies, no home security surveillance systems, um, no blood, um, no blood, um, blood plaza storage systems, no fiber optics, no electrical lamps, no pencil sharpness, no lawnmower, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. When a well-packaged web of lies had been sold gradually to the masses over generations, the truth will seem utterly preposterous and a speaker a raving lunatic. Your perception of reality is an elaborate white deception. It's a result of a perception management system that's designed for maintaining white social dominance over black people. Perception management is a propaganda technique that involves altering the public's perception of reality to suit the objective of the ruling class. It's an essential part of modern information warfare. Public perception of reality is not shaped based on facts nor reality. It's actually shaped by the narratives that are systematically fed into a society. Therefore, the basic tool required for the distortion of reality is to merely feed distorted narratives into the society. The public at large will then function based upon those distorted narratives rather than the true reality. This is precisely what the white society has done. Because they control all the societal narratives, they therefore literally own the perception of reality. They systematically feed false narratives into the society that creates false perceptions that aids and protects the system of white supremacy. According to white social scientists, perception is more important than reality for controlling and steering a society because people function based upon their perceptions of what's true rather than what actually is true. Therefore, white propagandists and social scientists feeds false white exalting information into society, which aids in maintaining their white dominance. And they also marginalize black people, which also aids them in their subjugation of black people. Through this process, the white society has literally whitewashed the perception of reality. Now, I know for some, this is uh, seem a bit daunting but we, we can learn the system. We are the people who civilized the world. We are responsible for most inventions that have revolutionized the world. 
You see, because the white society controls our narrative, they feed this negative false narrative about ourselves in order to condition us to perceive ourselves through an inherent marginalized identity, an inherent inferior identity that aids them in maintaining their dominance over us. Uh, in psychological warfare, they call this um, addressing a superior threat with a psychological remedy. Confronting a superior threat with a psychological remedy. We have to wake up to our reality. We have to wake up to our reality. And then we must develop kind of strategies. Now we must teach our people, teach our people what's happening. I compare the analogy, if, if there's a ship, a large ship, and, being made to, and the ship being made to go in the wrong direction. Huge ship. Now if we try to just grab the steering wheel, the brainwashed people on the ship will fight us. So what do we have to do? We have to educate the people on the ship to show them what has been done to them. Show them that they're moving in the wrong direction. And once the knowledge of what's happening, they will then start turning the ship around in the proper direction. We must keep spreading the truth because a mind once expanded by truth never returns back to a smaller size because the truth won't allow it to. Brothers and sisters, share the truth, spread the truths. Share these videos. One love and peace. One love and peace.